Any crap in there? Where's my flashlight? Get fluids for it. Side of the time here. This is the shaft. In fact, if you been following me, the shaft here is the one that I had to replace. And it took me freaking three months to freaking get it. Oh, I got a little cleaner. Oh. Dang gun, I have a bunch of crap on it. Sitting around. Been sitting around for a while. Yep. No failures. Uh. Um, I'm right here. I got the pins out. I got one one set up. <laughs> Cut that shaft apart over there. I'll show you. I only got I only got one. Alright. See what I'm doing? That one. Through the front one. <laughs> Uh, it is here. We get worn out. This one, we're back in. I think. Oh, okay. It actually has a. Actually, looks like that. And that one slides over it like that. You go like that, you feel how worn it is. So you got a sleeve. It's a new one. You go in there. Huh. That'd be tight once you get it in there. Oh, yeah. Slide, pound. 
on the other one on. Let's see. Pound it. Pound it through again. So, <laughs> that's just, that's just one. <laughs> They're not cheap. Tighten, tighten it up yet because I got a drive shaft on this side too. Same side of the house here. That out. Let's look and see what's in there before I put the shaft back on. Make sure everything's clean. So that was that. Because I'm gonna go ahead and put that other shaft in real quick. what I'm working with straight for a couple hours now I gotta put gear all back in there so what'd she say 70 70 80 or 80 90 I'm not exactly sure Okay. 
Decent. Okay. Let me slide. Slide in, but I gotta get sure I get it on the other side of this freaking. Oh, doggone it. I'm trying to put it on my left hand. Don't have any strength in that hand. Uh, all right, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, what's in the way? Lined up. <laughs> You're going to be a butthead. See? Okay, next. Get the drive. Drive shaft into the bearing. Through the bearing and into your sprocket. Now we're going to go ahead and put the drive shaft back in this scenario here. Get the nut off. Get the drive shaft. Um, Probably could have just left these bolts undone and then swung it out, but I'm gonna do it right now. Get my bolt back out of this. Drop. Okay, drop it down. Pull the bolts out of the freaking swing arm here and then get it get it that way. What am I doing? I, I kind of forgot what I was doing. Huh? Get your spring back in. I like your spring back in. I've got what I was doing. And then you can sling, swing it out and slide it back on here. And, yeah. Ha ha ha. Okay. Yeah. Let's go and get this done. Get this apart, dude. Let's go. Shop in. Bolt back through. Got to get this down. Gotta get this. Gotta get this down first. Back in there. 
get around the shock strap. Here. I'm standing holding this piece here. It has to be back in here. <laughs> back again. Beautiful. All right. Next, next line bolt. And that one. Be over there. Oh. Ah, let's try it again. Emergency, emergency brake cable, not cooperating, because it's in the wrong place, get over that, there we go, okay, number three, the third time here, There's another set of those bushings that need to be replaced, but what you gonna do? You guys are no, that's not what I'm looking Tight, tight. You're only talking. I think I was reading like 50, 35 foot pounds or something like that. Okay, here we go with the your. Uh, I'll do the right one because it affects the other side.
All right. Okay, now this side. You noticed this is come flinging off when I pulled it apart. Unfortunately. Now I'm gonna have to pull the frickin' caliper because of the rotor. Oh shoot. Should put those together at the same freaking time, but it didn't. All right, so it's gonna be another, another pro, another project. But there you go. You see, you see how that went back together. I'll do the other side. Uh, I'm gonna take a break first. All right, we're back. Let's get this thing back together. So I'll see first. Gonna get the drive shot back in here. This is still this has got the whole assembly to it this time around. So let me go ahead and get up here. This one. Well here I didn't have the maybe the shock. Shock hanging. We did it. That can hang. Get up your brake brake line. Pretty much right up. And here's your here's that strap that I'm talking about. That's affected by that. <laughs> you got you gotta bring them down together. Those are affected together. Oh, that was good. Bright. I didn't have my glasses on my face. I need to take them off. I did. Alright, in this case, let's go ahead and get up to this. Oh shoot, I do have a ribbon on the bag of these. Okay. I'm just gonna put these. I'm gonna put these in here. Alright. Now what you got now is everything's hanging off that with the uh brake cable there. Once I get that back in there, I kind of moving up because your drive shaft, your drive shaft is just that. That's gonna go all the way through. It's flying up. You gotta install your upper swing on. Caliper issues with this one. Is. 
sorry. On air. There you go. Right. Those bushings look pretty new. The bottom where they can do that. Hmm? All right, you slid in. So. Yeah, there we go. Cut that. All right. That simple. Almost. There we go. Like this one. Right. Another one. There's the new one. Look right off, isn't it? Beautiful. Here we are. You got new bushings. Put it back together. Like that. Like that. Like that. Bring that one down. You get your nut back on there. Beautiful. It's coming down. Yeah. That goes down in there. It's actually got a bushing on the bottom. This is the top one. That's all bushing. Whoop. Nope. Don't pay yourself. Make sure they're all both in there. You probably dropped out. All right. right up without any help. All 15s. This has got 65 foot pounds on it. Beautiful. 65, 65. So, that's a 14. All right, so long ones. Go here, go here. I need a, like a 12 or 13 on that. This thing here, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what those need to be. Back 
one. Okay. All right. <laughs> I ain't been running the whole time. Okay. This puppy here, 51, uh, 70 NG. I actually found it in my manual. Um, and that that nut that we just tore down is, says uh, 70. It winds up being foot pound. We're spinning. Don't spin. And then lock it down. Where is my wrong? Oh my oh, god. Go ahead and uh, hold it up. Yeah. It seems like much, does it? Hmm. Yeah. I'll put a car key in there. Oh, come on. Key in there. Right. Everything else is right around 40 something, 45. Um, technically, because it's a one of those uh, crush crush nuts which will actually bend over with the right. Here that. Uh, before I put the wheel on I'm grease Grease all the, as many as these as, as I can. You're done here. All right. Things tight all together. Um, the book says for fluids. Found it. Um, rear rear axle jets. Uh, 1540 oil uh, rear or uh, either 1540 oil or you can use 80 90 gear oil. So depends on what you want to do. And of course it all depends if you're racing this thing or whatever that's way out of my that's way out of my league. Um I'm just maintaining it for the wife, so she doesn't have to walk down to the goats all the time, and she can she can go around the property and all that. So, you know that's where I'm that's where I'm at with this. I'm not uh, you know doing anything race wise or anything. And here I got a couple of plate a couple of plates that I got to go back in. But other overall, um, here through it fall. That's the last thing you guys need to see. Oh, you, what is it? I just got a, that's a 12, 13, right here. Ah, yeah. That's basically it. I've got to do something with it. That caliper back on.
Okay. So, like I said, I got to put a couple of plates. I got to put plates. Put the plate back in here that belongs. I'm kind of rolling up. screws right. you pretty much wash the actual I'm not really going to cut too much out Break cables. Greasing this up. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm going to go in again. Got a cable here. Going to let it something here. Quick. But, right. okay one last important piece that I didn't plug in here is your your brake brake system T T bar back here you got both your uh, both calipers brake lines go to the calipers right out of this T and then your main one main line comes in so um, Keep that special freaking bolt. Gotta go. And then like so. And it's also a pain. You're gonna have to undo that. Uh, there we go. Alright. So I just wanna make sure you guys knew about that. Alright. I think that's probably gonna get it. Okay, we're back on this side again. I decided to go ahead and because of the fact that I couldn't didn't have this on there so this is how you got to do it you got to take your anchor plate off your your brake uh, your brakes then you're gonna slide this on like so you go ahead and put your that'd be easy if you just put the wheels on it <laughs> well actually it's not because you got your cover on it but Take your cover off and do it like that. So, uh, right on there. Then we just go and do the. This needs. This needs a new caliper set up here. This doesn't have a car key pin. So what you gotta do is you gotta print, you gotta take a, a uh, chisel and you gotta pound this down into the spline gap. You got some spline. Hey, keep that locked in. 
like so. So, yeah, take that and pound it in, and it locks that. And these, your anchor bolt, anchor bolts are 14s. Um, and the little slider things here, I've got to look into because this one's broke. It's broke, snapped off in here. This one's still here. It it spins. Of course, it spins, but it's locked in inside here. So um, I take it it's probably stuck in there. See if I get that. But let's see what else gets going. Get that done. But there we go. The wheels back on. All tight. Exactly. All right. Okay, it's a continuation of getting this CF moto back up to speed here. What I'm doing right now is I'm servicing the rear gearbox. I got a hose, and this is your fill fill spot right there. Um, it's gonna it's gonna take eighty ninety. D90 gear oil. And oh you pork. Thought it was good. <laughs> okay. I used I just pushed that on there good and hard. And uh it did not take that much. It says 30 point oh zero zero three zero liters. <laughs> And I think I probably put, no, oh, see, about that, but I was able to use just, you know, I had to use what I had. It wasn't like half of that, half of that one in there. So I'm happy. I took care of that. Of I don't have any oil. <laughs> Still don't have any oil for it. I'm going back over here and find out why. Probably because it doesn't have oil, it won't start. So, but uh, that's that. Okay, I'm greasing, greasing all these freaking, getting all these grease fittings. Now it's got <laughs> just on the rear, right here. You got one on the outside here. Got one right here, which you're gonna have to have to have this special grease grease tool to get to it because there's no way there's no way to get through here to grease it. And there's also one down. There's one underneath. So going right here, going right there. Got another one right there. All right, right here. It. This one, of course, I just got done greasing. And then there's another one. <sighs> Right chair. You see it? I think so. I'm gonna put get that grease grease fitting on that one. So that's that. That's that's the total. And of course you got one right on top. Right chair. So one, two, three, four, five on each suspension suspension arm. Right. And that, go, and that goes follow them. Watch it, that drive shaft doesn't have any the universal on that doesn't have any. And of course if you're gonna do it, you're gonna have to pull you gotta pull the wheel off to get to it. Dang. Don't think I can get across to it. Gonna have the wheel off just to see the damn gun thing, unfortunately. And that grease tool looks just like this. 
and you slide it in and it lines up with that and it squeeze it and fill it up. We're going to tie back on here. The torque on these is like 80, only like 80 foot pounds. So I've got an 80, 80 foot torque bar. And I'm not over torquing it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get her started. Hopefully, uh, that's going to be successful. I'll bring it down a little bit so I can get <laughs> way up there. Very good, now we Wish is manageable. Um, that battery is not that good. Of because I can't hear anything because I'm freaking raining them so hard. Um, fly right up. What the heck? Put a jumper box on it. See what's going on. <laughs>
about you? Look. Finally. It's running. I am so happy. All right, let's get this out of here. Oh, I feel like it was taking up residence or something. Get out of here. Oh, man. boys and girls. Man, that was a job. Okay. Alrighty. That was a good idea. Go right there and I roll whatever I need right on it. And sometimes I can't, it's a bit uh, between the lawnmower and the, and that. Uh, the wheels aren't wide enough to uh, make that on. Well, boys and girls, the wife was out riding around and she brought it back in, <clears throat> and unfortunately all that work and it didn't pay off it is leaking let me see drip 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 so all that work no go so why well, according to the book, it is seal, or that seal is number 25. If you look down here on oil seal 25, it gives you the dimension, 35 by 61 by 9.5. Well, by getting the oil seal that I just got, I looked at the freaking thing here. And look what the dimensions are. 44 by 60 by 6.7. So, unfortunately, according to the book, I had the real wrong seal.